Hey, Tim Munkert here, and in this video, we're going to talk about an alternative way to install NeoVim on a Chromebook. Okay, uh, so I've got my Linux development environment. This is my settings. I go to Advanced Developers. I'm going to have to turn this on, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click Next. Uh, I could change the username if I want. I'm just going to keep it. I could change the size if I want. I'm just going to keep it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that install, and we'll come back when that's set up. Okay, now that I've installed uh, Linux on my Chromebook, or turned on the Linux uh, container, uh, I get this terminal that will pop up. Yours will look something similar, and it has my username, at penguin, and then just uh, a command prompt for me to enter commands into. Okay, so what I want to do at this point is I just want to update everything. So I'm going to type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And I'm going to run that. And I'm just going to minimize this for a moment. You'll see I have these directions here that we're going to follow to install the latest version of NeoVim. And I'll include these in the description as well. OK, so uh, we're going to free up some disk space there on the update. That's nice. Um, and then we'll go ahead and run this. And just keep in mind as we do this, some of the commands I will need to use sudo. Uh, so um, maybe a little bit different than how you've read it other places. Okay, so let's, we now update it. We want to change into user slash bin. So I'm going to go cd dot 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 user slash bin. Okay, so uh, if we list this out, um, this is where I'm going to want to put uh, NeoVim. Um, so <clears throat> just keep that in mind. I'm going to keep it out of the way and uh, keep it up in the root. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is download the tar.gz file and then copy it to uh, this directory. Okay, so... <clears throat> What I'm going to do is go here, search for NeoVim, click Install Now. And um, I want to get the latest one, so I'm going to go for the development pre-release. Okay, and I'm going to go down here, and I just want to download this file. So I'm just going to click on that. And it's going to go ahead and download. All right. So I'll click Show in Folder. And I'm going to now copy it over to my Linux files. Okay. So it's now pasted into there. So let's close that out. And now uh, I actually want to go back to my home. So I'm going to CD back to the home and oops, I'm going to list out. And I see that I have this. Um, so I'm going to move this, uh, and we're going to move it up to user slash bin slash then nvim dash linux 64.tar.gz. And if I just do this, I'm probably not going to be able to do it. See, permission is denied. But if I go back here and type sudo, it allows me to do it, okay? So now I'm going to cd up uh, to user slash bin. And uh, if I list out, I see that I have this now in this bin. Okay, um, what I wanna do now is to unzip. So um, let me just do that. Um, now, again, if I do tar uh, zvxf, and then nvim, uh, it's going to let me do it, okay? Uh, I believe. Nope, it said permission denied. Okay, so let's run this again, and this time do sudo. Okay, so now uh, we're good. All right, so now if I list this out, we see have I have nvim-linux-64. So I want to get rid of this uh, other one, the tar.gz file. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, and 
Oh, <laughs> I need to remove it. Okay, so now if I list out the storage, you will still see that we don't have that file anymore, but we do have this uh, up here, okay? I'm gonna go back to now my home directory and with Vim, uh, Vim comes pre-installed uh, when you turn on Linux. Uh, I am going to now um, just open my bash RC. Okay, and I wanna go to the end of it here and we'll see here, let's look, where, where are we? And we wanna type this export path, okay? So I'm actually just gonna copy this here and paste it there, okay? And save it and now quit out of here. And now what I want to do is I could save and log off or I can source my bash RC. I'm going to source the bash RC. I'm going to use the shortcut for that. Okay. And now let's open NeoVim and we've got the latest version of NeoVim installed. Uh, I hope this is helpful and uh, I hope you got something from this. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. And I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.